everyone, it is Sunday the 14th of May. Now yesterday I sat and said it was Saturday the 12th of May and it wasn't, it was the 13th. Totally losing track of time. Um, yeah, so Sunday the 14th of May. Yesterday was a bit of a miserable day. Today we have glorious sunshine. Unfortunately I don't think it's going to last. Um, the weather's not to be too great uh, for the rest of the week. But thankfully, as you saw from yesterday's footage, we can get Vera inside. Um, so it's not going to slow the work down or anything like that. So I just thought I would uh, update you on where I am now. I've already been working probably for about an hour or so. Um, yesterday I managed to get the two doors, two front doors, the two front wings and the bonnet all sanded back, primed, ready for uh, spraying. We're going to spray primer it first, hopefully, depending on weather. Um, the, the spray primer will pick up any little bits that we've sort of missed out and then we will put the wheel paint on top of that again hopefully spraying but if not we're going to roller it so it's uh i'm really really pleased with what i did yesterday i think andy was really surprised at how much i got done yesterday um and today i am hoping to get the whole of the driver's side done it is a lot of van um but it's a lot of flat panels um so hopefully that means it's going to be fairly quick she says so that's where i am today excuse me if i have blue all over my face probably do um i feel a bit like a smurf i'm absolutely covered in blue paint and it's only going to get worse so i wanted to do a little bit of a how-to video on um flattening out sanding back the the paintwork ready for painting whether it's going to be spraying or whether it's going to be rollering or whatever it is but if you're going to do the job yourself it is handy to know what you're doing now um, I'm obviously a complete novice at all this thankfully my brother is not um, he's sprayed a fair few cars and painted a fair few cars in his life so he has been guiding me in um, what to do so I thought I may as well show you guys how to do it because it's always handy if, if you're doing something for the first time to, to be able to see somebody doing it first, you know, doing it before you attack. So I'm going to turn around to the van now um, and we'll, we'll take it from there, okay? So um, I'm really, really hoping you can see this. It is a beautiful sunny day, so um, I'm hoping it's going to pick this up. Now, basically this morning, this front panel here is the panel I've been focusing on and I don't know if I stand like this I think you can actually see the difference between this panel here which I haven't sanded yet compared to this panel here which is matte now the key for um, getting a really good base on the sand is to basically take the shine off the paintwork so here we have shine if you can see that and here it is absolutely matte Okay, so that means it's going to have a really good base for the primer to stick stick to, and then obviously the primer's going to have a really good uh, the primer's going to give a really good base for the paint to stick to. Um, now, prior to me doing all the sanding, obviously, if you've been watching our previous videos, you will have seen us um, grinding out the rust spots, treating it with phosphoric acid to basically kill. The, the rust off and then slapping on some lovely grey primer with a paintbrush. We did put it on fairly thick because it does, does act as a little bit of a filler in its own right. Um, so it's really messy and, and chunky and nasty. And if you look over here, these bits are where there was filler, but it's all been um, sanded back down. So the not filler, primer. So it, it's uh, you have to get it back so that it's lovely and smooth and that's all really really nice and smooth now as you've seen before we are extremely lucky we do have um, one of these bad boys which is a DA sander which is controlled from well it's controlled let me grab it it's controlled here uh, like <coughs> Um, so from the, the lever here on the top, push that down and that's what controls it. Um, and it's, it's run off a compressor. So we're really lucky because we do have access to, to that facility. Um, a lot of you won't have that access, unfortunately. Uh, you can still sand a vehicle back to do it yourself. You just need to use a palm sander or if you're feeling really, really brave, 
go for it with a sand and block in your, your bare hands, but thankfully we don't have to do that. Um, what we are having to do though is um, after we've used the discs up, because the discs are just Velcro, and if I show you this here, now you'll see that this disc has obviously been used, but they're not dead yet and they're absolutely brilliant just for getting into all these little nooks and crannies like this that the, the grinder, or the, not the grinder, the, the sander can't get to. So absolutely brilliant, don't throw them away, use them for the nooks and crannies, okay, and you can see all the sand, all the sawdust, not sawdust, I'm not talking very well today, I'm all the, uh, the paint dust coming off there. So, um, just so that you can see it, because this is obviously a part that I've already done, I'm going to take this little part here. Um, I don't know if you can see on this, but we have got the, the remnants of stickers. So it's where the, um, the previous owners, it says BITS, which I think is British Industrial Tire Services, but I'm not sure. But it's where the, the stickers have come off and the paintwork has faded um compared to what was behind we have to get rid of this uh these letters simply because if we don't even though we're going to paint over the top of it it's going to come through you're still going to see it so i'm going to take this little bit here this little corner and just show you what the difference between how it looks now and what it's going to look like when it's flatted out <laughs> As I said in the last little bit, um, I was going to do just this corner so that you could see the difference, which I really hope you can. I've basically done it to about there, and just here you can see the outline of the letter that there was here, but here it's all gone, and you can see how matte it is. And then you can also see here, where, not obviously all the filler, because I haven't gone all over it, but this little part of filler here is now all nice and smooth, and um, in line with the paint but this little spot here has actually gone back to the bare metal but we have a solution for this so I'm just going to show you what to do excuse me while I wander over here we have um, this lovely stuff here which is just a primer basically a grey primer and all we do and you have to do it, I'll just show you just over here, it's just like that because otherwise you end up with uh, basically runs of primer and you don't want that. So this little spot right here, done, covered. This stuff dries really, really quickly as well. It only takes a few minutes for it to dry and then it's good to go. But um, it's important to, to obviously put primer over any bare metal that you come to. And don't be afraid if you do come on to bare metal um, because you've got the primer to sort it out. So, so there you go. I hope that's helped in some way. Uh, whether you've got a DA sander, a palm sander or a bit of wood with uh, some sandpaper over the top of it. It can be done. If I can do it, anybody can. So very quickly, end of day two. It's getting on from nine o'clock. Um, I'm absolutely buggered. Had another really good day at it. I um, have got pretty much all of the driver's side done. Um, but I'm going to call it a night. I'm sore. My, my forearms are aching and I look like a smurf. And I just need to uh, get my boots off and put my feet up, I think. I might even have a shower. Wouldn't that be a treat? Um, so I'll just show you quickly what she's looking like at the moment and then uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Both of these um, 
sections are done and up onto the roof. Looking fantastic to be honest. And then this back section has been 90% done. Could do with just getting finished off. Um, but the majority of it is sanded back, it's just some of it here that's still a bit rough so need to go over all that in the morning but there we go so I'll be back at it tomorrow um, might have a bit of a, a break from the, the sanding tomorrow try and give my arms a bit of a rest uh, and my hands the, uh, the sort of pads of my hands are quite sore from holding the, the button down on the sander and just the vibrations of it. Um, so tomorrow I'm possibly going to take a little journey down to Carlisle to a scrappy, see if I can pick up some wiper linkages which is uh, something that we're going to need and possibly some back door seals. I'm going to go and get some back to black and try and start sorting the bumpers out and the mirrors and all that kind of stuff. Um, and just have a bit of a, a plittery day tomorrow, but stuff that all needs done, just uh, just taking a break, as I say, from the sanding. So that's us. That's me. I'm done. I'm going in. Night.